welcome to 12 Volt Planet TV. My name is Craig, and today we're going to be walking you through our most common relays, their uses, and the basics of wiring them up. A relay is basically a switch that, instead of being activated mechanically, is activated electrically. The most common type is an electromechanical relay. Uh, that works by applying the voltage to the coil of an electromagnet which pulls in a set of contacts to complete the circuit. Therefore, this allows current to flow through that circuit. The electromagnet circuit, often simply referred to as the coil, is electrically isolated from the main circuit. And it only requires a small current to activate. Typically, uh, this is around 300 milliamps or so whereas the main circuit can carry a much higher current, typically 30 amps or higher, depending on the relay. You can use relays for a number of different reasons. Um, they can be used for switching a high current circuit with a low current. Um, you can help use them to save money on long runs of larger gauge cable, therefore rem removing the need for heavy duty switches. Um, and you can also use them to switch multiple circuits from a single input and there are many more uses which we'll go further into in, in an article. Relays come in two states, normally open and normally closed. A normally open relay have the contact broken when the relay is at rest, whereas a normally closed relay will have the opposite and the contact closed when the relay is at rest. When we say at rest, we mean that the relay doesn't have any voltage applied to it at all. So if we take our basic mini relay, you can see it's about one inch cube in size. You will find we have a number of pins to connect to. Two of these pins are for the coil circuit and the remainder are for your main high powered current circuit. On every relay, the terminals are marked to help you identify. Um, and so on a four pin relay, you'll see we've got 85 and 86, which are the terminals for the coil. 85 being the ground, 86 being your 12 volt plus feed. On 30 and 87, which are the terminals for the high current circuit, uh, terminal 30 will be your common and uh, or input, and 87 will be your normally open or uh, switch terminal. Um, on changeover relays, like our relay here, you'll see we've got a fifth terminal, which will be marked as 87A, which is the normally closed switch terminal. Um, relays will normally have a schematic printed on them to show you the basic inner workings on the relay. Uh, this can also help you identify which pins need to be wired in what configuration. Today we're just going to show you these two relays, so our more common uh, make and break and changeover relay. So, so firstly, make and break relays. So these are four pin relays, which are in, usually in a normally open configuration, which means that when the coil has no voltage applied or is at rest, uh, there's no voltage going through the main circuit to our load. In our case, it will be our LED light. Um, when the coil is energized or when we apply the voltage by flicking our switch, um, you will, uh, the coil's energized and that will apply a voltage um, uh, to the circuit by closing the contacts of 30 and 87, um, which will then feed our power through. To wire up the relay, um, we've connected up our terminal 86 to a 12 volt feed through our switch. Um, we've also wired up terminal 85 for our earth, Terminal 30 is our 12 volt uh, plus feed from our battery or power supply and 87 would then go to the positive side of our load which in our case is our LED light as explained. Um, so let's show you how this works in principle. So we've got our relay holder which we'll insert our relay into which has always been already been pre-wired into our configuration using various Wago connectors and cable as you can see. So we'll apply our negative which again is being shared through those Wago connectors and our positive. Uh, we'll put up a wiring diagram for this um, so you'll be able to see that also. Uh, so if we apply our power 
you can see our LED light is off but when we flick our switch our LED light comes on um, so this can be especially helpful if you say have a 60 amp or 50 amp item that you want to power um, most switches are only rated for 16 amps so you could use a low current switch to activate a relay to then activate what would essentially say is a 60 amp LED light in this case and there you have it a simple make and break relay next are changeover relays these have two output terminals that can connect to the common input terminal which is terminal 30 uh, one of which is normally closed and one that is normally open. So when the coil is at rest, uh, terminal 30 is connected to 87A and when the coil is energized, terminal 30 is connected to terminal 87. Uh, as you apply and remove voltage to the coil, the contact will flick back and forth, um, changing the output terminal um, that's connected to terminal 30. This is the reason for it being called a change over uh, rather than just a simple make and break. Um, so to wire up these relays, you would connect your switch 12 volt feed to terminal 86. Uh, terminal 87 is your earth. Terminal 30 is your 12 volt plus feed. Uh, that comes from your battery or in our case, our power supply. Um, uh, terminal 87 goes to the positive of your first load which will be our LED light uh, which you can see and uh, 87A will go to the positive of your second which will be our second light which we will insert into our circuit now using our Vago connectors uh, so these are nice and simple so as you can see our two LED lights so if we insert our relay into the holder, turn on our supply, connect our positive and our negative. So you can see one of our LED lights is on and by flicking our switch the other one comes on. So as you can see we flick between the two which is our changeover action as you can see uh, so you can see as we apply the voltage to the coil the relay changes from 87 to 87a uh, one typical um, use for these type of relays are your high and low beams uh, on headlight circuits so low beam would be connected to the normally closed 87a high beam to the normally open 87 uh, the low beam then would be on as default and then as the coil is energized uh, the high beam comes on, your low beam stays off. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to go a little bit more in depth on the subject of relays, we will put a link in our description down below to our Knowledge Center guide, which goes through all the various different types of relays that are available and it will also provide you with some more information. If you have liked this video or you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment down below, as well as giving the video a like to hopefully help get this out to more people. Make sure that you don't miss any of our future videos by making sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell, that way you'll be alerted as soon as they go live. Again, thanks for joining us today and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day.